This is an interesting presentation on the menu. Mm -hmm. little small little booklets. You have your tapas, your small plates. Beverages. And the rest of the food. We kind of decided that tonight that we were going to really stay in the tapas range. Yeah. Region and try a lot of the small food as much as possible. So, I think so. So the views from the 16th story floor here at Toledo, pretty expensive. You can see quite far. This side I'm looking at now, you can see Hollywood Studios. You'll be able to see Galaxy's Edge and Batu. I think just a little bit of Slinky Dog, possibly. Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. If I switch ever so slightly to the left, we can also see Spaceship Earth. And the Epcot Resorts. As well as, it's amazing to see the scale of the Guardians of the Galaxy ride beside and just to the right, Spaceship Earth. Imagine the views during the fireworks presentations at Hollywood Studios or even Illuminations is going to be pretty spectacular up here. So it's kind of hard. It's, 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 there's so much to choose from. There are a lot of things to choose from. Between the tapas, mm -hmm. casuelas, or um, they have actual the pinchos, appetizers. Yes, the, the pinchos, pinchos, the casuelas, the boards. Um, and that's just not even actual appetizers, sides, entrees, and entrees. Sides. So just to uh, kind of get started in the tapas section, these are the small plates. These are, you know, not full entrees, just something to enjoy. The pinchos like are two, or three, two or three bites each. So, you know, you're just going to get some flavors. You're going to get some taste, but it's nothing that's going to be filling you up and definitely not something that you order, you know, for a large table to share. Um, unless you just want to <laughs> order, order several and everyone can have a little bit of a taste. Um, the casuelas. Um, they are a little bit larger. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the house boards to choose from as well. Um, if you like uh, the meats, different meats and cheeses. And then you can go into the full entrees and the regular food menu as well. And there are appetizers. Really delicious options there. Entrees. <laughs> And some sides to go along with the entrees. The entrees do not come with sides. And the desserts. And as well, on the bottom here, you do have a drink menu. On the bottom, you have a drink menu for beverages, house specials, and cocktails. And we'll say this, the uh, wine menu is a, a different list. And of course, I do have fountain sodas as well. And a few uh, zero proof cocktails. Yeah, it's been really good also quite extensive uh, wine menu. You can get uh, either a five ounce, eight ounce, or a bottle, uh, depending on which of the which of the ones that you choose. How are you? Good. So, how do your stuff pick your peppers? Okay. So, our first casuela just arrived. This is the stuffed piquillo peppers. They are stuffed with an herb goat cheese with lemon. They are, they are a gluten-free item, so Susan's going to enjoy them with me. Um, we also have a few, a uh, couple of pinchos have arrived as well. Yes. Um, what did you get for yours? This one's a Spanish omelet, some potato omelet, so. The uh, potato omelet. Mm -hmm. 
name. With uh, basically a serrano ham. Yes. And uh, an olive uh, relish. Yes. And then I uh, I tried I got the uh, I think it's the Valdeon blue cheese. Which looks delicious. It has a little bit of fig and uh, honeycomb. So. I've been told that it's on the sweet side. So we're gonna try the, the peppers first. Yep. And uh, then we'll dig into our um, pinchos afterwards. Yes. Now the really cool thing is, is that, you know, since we're having tapas and other small plates, they do give you a small plate. Um, and look at these, these small serving utensils to enjoy and to eat your uh, tapas with. Now, the cazuelas are actually prepared in these terracotta little dishes here, and then they're placed inside of an oven. So they are they are brought to your table warm. Beautiful presentation. I was kind of expecting it to be a little on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. And then the cheese has got lots of herbs in it. It's creamy. Oh my gosh. Isn't it delicious? It's got a little bit of heat, but oh, the flavors. Yeah, I'll take those, please. <laughs> These are definitely worth trying, guys. Oh, yeah. They're delicious. This is the, uh, the stuffed peppers on the, the Casuelas. Mm -hmm. It comes oh, with man. three, three peppers. Tell you what, the, uh, the herb goat cheese, uh, so that is amazing. It really is. I was a little hesitant because, you know, sometimes goat cheeses for me are... This is actually really creamy. It's yes. almost melted, which I don't think I've ever had a cheese that was melted before, so it's good. Oh, flavors are awesome. So we've already started off with a, a real winner here. Mm -hmm. And we thought we'd try this as well. This is a uh, strawberry hard cider. Mm -hmm. Is a product of Spain. It is delicious. I think a little. Make sure I can it's concur sweet. on that. It's sweet, sweeter than most. But it is good. It is really good. I like that. It's strawberry. Very strawberry. Mm -hmm. So I've got the Spanish potato omelet and it is so very good. Um, it's like, it's wrapped in serrano ham, so I'm guessing that they have a large omelet and then they slice a piece out of it. And then it's got a um, olive kind of relish on the top that's really tart and almost lemony. It's it's a really delicious bite. Now talk about the, uh, hang on, let's, let's talk about what they're served on. Okay. The uh, pinchos. The platters are little melted wine bottles, so just kind of cool. Yeah, even the uh, the blue cheese, yeah. the one that I have here, it's just a, uh, a flattened bottle. Yep, and they left the the neck of it unflattened for a handle. It's very you cute. You have the little handle here, so you can hold it. Yeah. So the uh, the blue cheese looks like a. Oh, like a crostini. Mm -hmm. It is. I'm, I'm wondering if I, uh, it's got a nice little oh, stick in it here. But I think I feel inclined just to pick it up by the. Uh, I think you should. By the bread and just yep, take pick a bite. it up and take a bite. That looks so good. Guys, I am so jealous. I love blue cheese, but you know, it's on bread. So. I'm having my, um, my blue cheese finger foods here. cheese, sweetness of the fig, good texture of the uh, 
the bread underneath. I wouldn't normally, I don't normally do the blue cheese, but I like this. I destroyed the potato omelet. Okay, it's okay, it's last bite. Little serrano ham. I have to say, yes, yeah, mostly potato. It's good. Does this look like an omelet to you? Definitely not an omelet from here. Still good. I mean, you could call it a beet salad if you wanted to, but. Potato, crunchy. Yeah. Hmm. So this is, this is our second cazuela. This is the chorizo. It is the Rioja braised chorizo with filled onions. Again, this is uh, gluten free. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's naturally, or not naturally, but it's prepared to be yeah. gluten free. But you know, they want to make sure that those are labeled. Did you serve this with bread normally? So we need to have the bread. Where's the bread? Very flavorful sausages. Ooh, a kick. Ooh, a little kick. A little kick in there. It's in there. Both of them are in there. No. <laughs> Not a bad kick. That's good. Now the chorizo it does have a very bold flavor. Not necessarily that it's hot. It's a little spicy. It is spicy. But it's a very, very, it's not a subtle <laughs> flavoring at all. But um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's also a very good cazuela for sharing. And so everyone at the table can have lots of little pieces of the sausage so everyone can have a bite and try it out and get some of the uh, greens and the, the, the filled onions in there as well. Very bold flavors, but very good. So we decided, we decided even before we got here, we were going to take a non-traditional uh, approach to tonight's dinner in Toledo. We weren't going to just order like an appetizer and a bun, you know, a couple of entrees and that's it. There's a lot of tapas, there's a lots of small little things. So we decided instead of ordering entrees, we were going to get lots of things off of the tapas, the suelas, the sides. sides, appetizers. Oh, oh, a little on blue cheese. Yes, yes. And there we go. Thank you very much. Enjoy. So we have all kinds of little dishes that we're trying, including a couple of sides. These are side dishes. Now this is, I believe, the blistered shishito peppers. Yes. And these are just, uh, wow. I don't think I've ever been in a restaurant where this is ordered as a side. They're but good. You just pick it up and bite into it. They've been like roasted. You can see the black parts. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you just eat it. They're not hot. 
It have a little bite, but I would say it's more flavor than heat. It is a very, very healthy side dish. Yes, excellent. And then we also got the uh, potatoes. Bravis potatoes. The Bravis potatoes. And I think it was sort of like a new potato. Yes. Um, it's got a pimento aioli. So like a red pepper aioli. I definitely wanted to try a few of the sides. A little bit of the aioli in there as well. <laughs> now, I will have to admit, the peppers were, what, were not what I was expecting, but they're really good. Um, I was expecting something a little bit more, you know, prepared, sliced, whatever. Um, and the potatoes... Well, the flavor. Very good. Be an excellent side to go along with your dishes. But very robust flavor for the aioli. Yeah, they have a re really good flavor, like you said. It's not, like you would think um, potatoes and mayonnaise would be pretty bland, but they only has a really distinct flavor to them. And then the potatoes appear to be coated with some seasonings as well. Really good. I decided to go back to the tapas menu and try one more. And this is the olive oil poached tuna with lemon Apparently have the same tuna relish or similar tuna relish to the Spanish potato omelet So this is the tuna <laughs> Very citrusy. <laughs> Completely different flavor than I was expecting it. You can taste the lemon. Um, of course, I, I, maybe I wasn't thinking enough that it was olive oil. Um, oh yes, fresh tuna. I was almost, I don't know why, maybe I was thinking sort of like the idea of a tuna tataki. I was looking for a sharp, kind of a, you know, like a soy base kind of flavor, but it isn't. It's very, it's very soft. Taste of olive oil and the lemon, just a little bit of bite of lemon to it. We're good. It was juicy. Oh yeah, it's good. I wanted, to, I wanted to go outside of my normal. Okay. All the other food has been so good. I'm thinking maybe I should give something I wouldn't normally try a chance. So this is the heirloom tomatoes appetizer. Yep. Lots of different kinds. So they've got little like grape tomatoes and different colors. Like a nectarine or something in there? Uh, there's nectarine. It's, they call it a, I, I, I guess, to allow them some leniency of an ingredients. They call it a um, stone, fruit? stone fruit, but this is nectarine. I just so tried a stone this. fruit, yeah. farmer's cheese, mm -hmm. a sunflower seed meringue, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit of torn mint. Mm -hmm. And this is an appetizer. Oh, I'm trying to get a little bit of everything in here. Of course, I just ate the stone fruit by itself because nectarines are awesome. That's good. Now, my concern about this is this is, I wouldn't think of this as an appetizer. Lots of times you think of appetizers as something that shareable. This is more like a salad to me. Yeah, it's not so much I would think a shareable app. I mean, it could be shared. It's not that. A lot of times salads are in the app. 
area. And then one of the other appetizers is a romaine salad. We discussed yeah, that. Yeah, that is true. One of the other apps is a romaine salad. Yeah. So this is sort of that idea. That that is, um, you wouldn't exactly, you know, pass around a romaine salad. That's good. So as our little dinner has moved on, you've tried, you're having the crema catalina. Yes. It's like a creme brulee it kind is. of consistency. It is very much like a creme brulee. And when it's got orange segments and candied orange peel on top and a chocolate tool. Um, it is very definitely orange flavored and it is delicious. It's just melts in your mouth. The creme brulee is very well done. It's got the sugar. It's got the little crispy sugar topping. Sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's got a distinct citrus flavor to it. It's it's really good. Super creamy. The crema Catalina. I could have this every night. Well, we've kind of had a progressive dinner for the most part, so mm -hmm. I'm having a progressive dessert. This is the Toledo Progressive Bar. I have been told specifically I have to eat this from left to right. The different flavors. So it's a little tour, culinary dessert tour. So. All right, so I believe the chocolate bar is pretty much consistently the same all yes. throughout. It's just the toppings on top. Yes, that's correct. Uh, all right. Oh, it's got a little bit of a crunch to it. Ah, oh, there we go. So. There's a little layers under the chocolate. Beautiful chocolate flavor. Very crunch, got a little crunch to it. And moving on in progression. Now I think we have a little bit of lemon. Raspberry is very, very powerful raspberry flavor. Not, not, no, it's good. It's just not nearly as subtle as like the, the lemon. Now when you get to the chocolate part, a, this one's got a little, little raspberry beret on it. You know, kind of the kind that you would find at like a secondhand store. Oh, fresh raspberry. Very tart, but so good. Oh, yes. That's like the best bite so far. Yes. So we have progressed all the way to probably the prettiest portion. This is coffee. This yes. is lemonade. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is the final bite for tonight. Well, it's kind of sad. Very good meal. Enjoy the flavors. This is the last bite. Coffee flavor, progressive bite. Ooh. flavor so after an exquisite meal across the hallway at Toledo we decided to just pop in real quick and sort of wrap up uh, our, our thoughts um, yeah. at the meal tonight over at the Dahlia lounge which is just across the way gorgeous um, as well this by the is way a beautiful beautiful yes. lounge to come in no reservations just come in and enjoy they have a few of the uh, uh, pintos uh -huh. uh, are over here a few of yes, them yes a couple including the um the the cheese the blue cheese one i had tonight yes. and, and the uh olive oil poached, um, tuna. poached tuna is also over here so uh, a couple of uh, nice things you can pop in and try 
But overall, very satisfied with the meal. It was delicious. So many great flavors and combinations I haven't had before. Yeah. Um, and again, we didn't we didn't even have an entree. Yeah. We decided to just enjoy lots of the small stuff to kind of get more feel of what the menu was. Yeah. Um, there wasn't anything that I tried tonight that I did not care for. No. Everything was delicious. It was. So. And, and we ate a huge variety of different foods. And that's kind of the nice thing about the restaurant is there's you know, so a varying and an assortment of small plates. So you can just try a, bite a few here, bites bite there. of a lot of different things. And I will say we grabbed a few of the sides as well that you can get with the entrees. Um, entrees don't come with sides. You order them separately. And those were delicious as well. I will mean, warn you if you get the... Uh, the the shishito peppers. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of them. them. <laughs> <And> you, could, <laughs> so, you could definitely order that one for a to, whole table. To share. Or Everyone can share. have a few. They were delicious. Oh, yeah. But there were many. So, so between, um, I have to say the first thing that we had was the, the stuffed peppers. Yes. Um, uh, the um, That was, that was amazingly. so yummy. Oh, so good. I, I had to, to stop myself from licking the platter they came on. It was I didn't delicious. stop. I just did yes. it. I didn't care. Um, but those those were just uh, amazing. Yes. The chorizo was good. The chorizo was very um, good. The heirloom tomatoes was something that I normally probably wouldn't order. But it was a great flavor. Yes. Um, and uh, I think uh, what were some of the other things that what was, what was the highlight? What was your favorite thing in the entire meal? I would say probably dessert. Really. Yeah, of all the things that I had, um, it was... Uh, so the crema catalana. Yes, it was a creme okay. brulee, and it was like citrus flavored, and it was just a perfectly prepared creme brulee, and I've never had a citrus flavored one before, so that was just a really interesting take on it. I really enjoyed it. And I, I close second would be those peppers that Chris Oh, uh, the peppers for me was probably the best. I tried Great to, way to start I the meal. I tried to get the recipe, and I... That was a no-go, but I'm no. going to try again the next time we come because I think I'll get a yes eventually. So the next time you come over here to uh, Disney's Coronado Springs, you can try out the, uh, and come into the new Grand Destino. Reservations are going to be required at Toledo. Yes. Um, the Dahlia Lounge, just come in and enjoy. Great come views. For serve. I would recommend coming right around right before sunset yes. so you can enjoy the different uh, colors as the sun sets. Um, and also, if you stay a little bit later across the horizon, you can check out I Illuminations. Like the Star Wars fireworks yes. and uh, even see um, probably across the way eventually hey pretty soon it's gonna be happily ever after yes. so great yeah. views up here as well for sure yep so you guys I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, us uh, coming through and checking out Toledo and uh, if you have any questions or comments about the food make sure to put them down into the comments we'd love to hear Please. from you guys down there and uh, make sure if you haven't already we need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel Please. so there's gonna be a little circle right there you need to punch that button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Thanks so much for following, guys. Thank you for all that you do to support us at Your Dear Magic. We're so glad we can bring you all the things we do and all the immense amount of activities that are available in Walt Disney World. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys later.